exercise in the morning. How about you all? No? Okay. I promise you won't sweat too much. All right, here's what I want you to do. And everybody put your hands like this. All right, I want you to pay attention to which thumb is on top of which thumb. So my left is on top of my right, for example. Now what I want you to do is open your fingers and put your fingers in the other slot, put the other thumb, put your right on top of your left. All right? So how does that feel? Odd. Odd? How else does it feel compared to the first way you had it? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Uncomfortable? What do you feel like doing if you hold your hands like this long enough? Switching back. Switching back? Switching back to what was comfortable the first time, right? All right, see? Okay, go ahead and put your hands down. Wasn't too bad. <coughs> so what I'm going to talk about here this morning and share with you are the seven critical mistakes that most business owners make. And uh, the reason why most business owners make these mistakes is because of stepping outside of what I call your comfort zone. And it's just human nature that when we step outside of our comfort zone, we want to go back to what feels more comfortable, right? Here's the deal. When we step outside of our comfort zone, that's when we're learning. That's when we're growing. That's when we're improving. That's the only time that changes are made. But again, it's human nature to want to go back to what's, what's most comfortable, what feels better for us. Because it feels awkward. It feels uncomfortable to be uncomfortable, right? All right, when you are growing and when you are improving on a personal level, so is your business. So it's important to understand that sometimes it's necessary to step outside of our comfort zone. And some of these seven critical mistakes, the reason why we make them is because you have to do that in order to succeed in business. 